parents take their children to daycare with the expectation that their children are going to be safe and supervised. A child was left alone inside a daycare van for more than three hours. How did it happen? Why didn't anyone notice the child was missing? Atlanta police is investigating to answer those questions. It happened at the Future Leader Christian Daycare in Southwest Atlanta on April 8. Police say the child slept the whole time, was not hurt. The state is also investigating. Fortunately, the van was not hot inside. This happened between 6 and 10 in the morning. It was about 66 to 70 degrees outside. Every day, more than 337,000 children are dropped off at licensed child care programs in Georgia. The Georgia Department of Early Care and Learning tracks those numbers. That's a lot of lives in the workers' hands. Caitlin Ross has been looking at how often something like this happens, a child left behind. Caitlin, despite lots of safeguards in place, it happens more than someone might expect. And Cheryl, these numbers even surprised me. Last year, the state received 16 complaints of children left inside daycare vehicles, with 12 of them substantiated. Now listen to this, just four months into 2019, and the agency has already gotten 15 complaints, with 10 substantiated. Luckily, none of those children have died. Since 2007, only one case of a child left inside a daycare van has resulted in death. That was in 2011, when two-year-old Jasmine Green was left in a hot daycare van for more than two hours in Jonesboro. We spoke with Jasmine's father just three years after she died. My mind played tricks on me. I see this spot, I want to put myself in that van, and I want to grab my daughter and take her out of that van. Today is the day to talk about this because it is National Heat Stroke Prevention Day. Since 2007, 22 children have lost their lives in Georgia after being left inside hot cars. The Georgia Department of Early Care and Learning has launched a statewide campaign called Look Again, calling for families and caregivers to have awareness of the dangers of leaving children inside hot cars. You can see their public service announcement on 11alive.com. All right, Caitlin Ross, thanks a lot.